Hi, as you probably have noticed, I do both sim racing and sim flying in VR. I recently set up a new Windows 11 PC dedicated to them and faced a weird problem. Some sims, most notably the multi-threading version of DCS, suffered from horrible stutters and some, like Dirt Rally 2, crashed to desktop without any clear cause. Some sims had micro stutters that weren't as bad but still they were pretty annoying. First thing I did was something I already knew, and that was to exclude the game and their data directories from Windows Defender, and I'll show it briefly here. You can search for virus from the start menu, and click here, and you want to go to the virus and threat protection settings, manage settings, and scroll down the list to the end where is exclusions. It asks for permissions and here I have already set them up. Here is the Steam directory which includes all the Steam applications. Here is Eagle Dynamics directory for DCS and as I'm an Oculus user this is the Oculus software directory. If you have some other headset you would want to include the headset software. And here is the saved games directory which holds the DCS data directory and I have some other software set up on a different drive. And if you would be adding a new exclusion, click here and select a folder and like if you are doing the DCS, go program files and Eagle Dynamics. And here select folder, but I have already done these. But this didn't solve the DCS problem, and it was really hard to solve, as sometimes it would run like 10 or 20 minutes without any problem, and then suddenly drop to like 1 to 10 FPS. It was just an unusable mess, you could hardly even quit DCS, because the menus, menus would stutter so bad. I tried all, to go through all possible causes, like USB devices behaving badly, possible disk slowdowns, etc. But then I came across a post somewhere mentioning Intel eCores. As my old PC didn't have them, I wasn't aware that they could cause this. eCore stands for Efficient Core, and now the normal cores are called P cores. So all the actual processor cores are shown to the operating system as P and E cores. E cores are meant to handle background jobs in a way that saves power. And problems start when an application needing high performance gets switched from P cores to E cores. And there are two fixes for this. First is to totally turn off E cores from BIOS. I know people have done this without any problems, but as Intel doesn't recommend this, I'll show here the second option. We'll need an application called Process Lasso. You can use it for free, but with a nagging pop-up at launch, or you can buy it. There are options for monthly, yearly, or lifetime purchase. I went for lifetime, as I found this application very useful. I'll show here what to do. So I just launched the multi-threading version of DCS. And I have already the process lasso installed and running. It's, it's running all the time. And you would want to go to the active processes tab here and go for DCS and go to CPU affinity. And here you can select these options for currently running X or set them permanently which is the always and now you if you haven't done this here the e cores would be selected and what you want to do is to remove the tick from e cores so i have already done this but as you can see i clicked it and now it's selected so you want to deselect all the e cores 
and now it shows here the 0 from 15 it's using only the course from 0 from 15 and that's it it's solved now but you want to do this for every sim you are using and I did it also for the oculus software the, the application file you have to have it running and then you can do the changes and some other things to mention if you are using VR you are probably familiar with OpenXR and other stuff which can make a performance difference if you are not I really recommend searching for it but I'll mention one thing that can help with micro stutters in flight sims for a reason or another it seems they are more prone to this than sim racing titles and it's the NVIDIA pre-rendered frames and it's a setting here in NVIDIA control panel and you can do it per application like here I have DCS and I would go to the end where you have virtual reality pre-rendered frames <clears throat> now there isn't one setting that works for every sim and not one setting that works for every system uh, you have to experiment but in general two or three will do and here I have three for DCS and if I remember correctly I have two for IL2 and I think I had three for MS Flight Simulator I hope these tips help with your sim racing or sim flying experience thank you